this video, we're going to take a look at indexing a folder of documents using Docify Publisher. Here we have a pre-existing database with some TIFFs and PDFs, and we want to index a folder. So we simply select the Index Folder icon to bring up the first document as well as the uh, customized index screen. Uh, we also have the ability to uh, display a zoom in, uh, detail zoom in, as we can see that uh, is loaded as each document is brought into the system. Now the scans themselves are identified uh, through an input folder that we can change in our settings and here they're coming from uh, a temp input scans folder as well as a destination uh, folder which can be a network drive or a local drive. So let's begin indexing our database. We'll again issue the command to uh, start the folder indexing and we can uh, now uh, fine tune or zoom in and out of the um, preview area and we're going to uh, index the title as Southern Natural Gas <coughs> into the title field. And then uh, the other two fields are configured as drop downs. These can be configured to be um, uh, in any manner that we want. Uh, we're just going to go with uh, well log as a document type. And then the subtype will create our own uh, value uh, as an invoice. And we index it, and the next document will come up. And now we can. Uh, use the drop downs to obtain our um, values that we had already in the system or we can create our own new values if desired. So we'll go ahead and index this document as a um, State of New York stipulation and again click on the index button and the next document will come in. Um, I should also point out that uh, we're mixing PDF and TIFF files as we're doing our indexing. So on we go with indexing our third document, again using the same process. So you can see we can easily pan around in the document, find uh, the information that's needed for the indexing, and apply it to uh, the fields. Now these fields, again, are fully customizable. Uh, we can have uh, you know several fields that are visible to the user, and we can define if they're drop-down boxes or if they are uh, freeform text fields for your um, easy data entry needs. And we'll uh, finish up with our last document, which we're going to create uh, another subtype, being a legal document. And we'll just go in and change the title, uh, or we can use the title that was obtained by the, the file name itself from the scan and index it into the system. So now that we have our documents indexed, we will uh, change our view so that we can see the uh, document types first and then the subtypes second. And uh, one of these documents we find was indexed into the wrong array arena. So, so let's take a quick preview of our index documents. We can simply select any of the subtype nodes, the legal, the structural, or the uh, invoice documents to verify that they are all uh, in their proper locations. Also want to point out that uh, we can retain the index values uh, as we go from document to document uh, to make the indexing of, of repetitive values easy. So now let's go back into our invoices and one of these uh, does not belong here so we can click on the change properties button and select the uh, subtype and move it over to the legal arena and then uh, our database has now been updated. So if we go back and look at the, uh, the tree we can now click on our legal documents and we now have the two legal documents that we uh, desired. 